An Oahu clinic for those who may be experiencing symptoms of jet fuel exposure took in its first patients yesterday, but some say getting into the new Red Hill Clinic is not so easy. Bryce Moore spoke to a local mom who called it a rough experience. The Red Hill Clinic has been taking appointments since December 27th. I asked Ford Island mom Belle Miles about her experience calling the 24-hour TRICARE information line. It was horrible. So when I called the first time, um, the person who I spoke to didn't know what the Red Hill Clinic was um, or how to get a hold of it. Being transferred at least five times and spending two hours going over her kids' symptoms in the past year, she finally lined up an appointment from 8 to 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Arriving at the Makalapa Naval Health Clinic, Miles says the inside is broken into colored sections with red, blue, and gold areas. They pretty much just took like the blue team area and just renamed it Red Hill Clinic. And so it wasn't any flashy signs. It was really just one printer piece of paper that had Red Hill Clinic and the times that they would be seeing people. The rooms were darkened. A few doors were opened. Uh, they led us to a room that was very small. Miles' son and daughter both have skin rashes, treatable at the clinic, but officially the cause is unknown and she isn't feeling any urgency. A similar feeling from Army Major Amanda Feint, who moved from Ford Island to Colorado last May to seek better medical care, but she's still advocating for clean water in the island. I'm doing it because I have risked my life for this country, for our basic human rights, one of them being access to clean water. Oahu, Hawaii, that Navy drinking water line is no safer than the combat zone that I served in, in Afghanistan. Find points to North Carolina's Camp Lejeune, saying unlike for the cancer patients there, it's not too late for locals on the Navy water system. We have an opportunity to, to inter, intervene, to save people's lives, to actually give them proper medical care, so we're not burying our children before the age of 10 like many of the Camp Lejeune families were. KHON2 has reached out to TRICARE and the Navy for comment and an updated timeline on the report of the toxic spill in December. We've yet to hear back. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.